Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Lenora from Fitness of a Kama. Today we're going to be prepping five easy, healthy breakfast recipes. These are recipes that I have personally used and love. Although I will be honest, within the last few months, I've had this obsession with omelets. So 90% of the time, I eat an omelet for breakfast. But I wanted to bring to you the different options that I love. And hopefully you would like it too you guys know that I'm a big fan of meal prepping meal prepping has worked wonders for me on my fitness journey because it just takes the guesswork out of it you have healthy options when you're ready to eat today we're gonna to be cooking most of the recipes and then some of them we're gonna do most of the preparation so that the night before or the day of there's just very little you have to do so come with me into my kitchen let's do some cooking don't forget to subscribe hit the bell so you can get notifications on future videos all right let's go overnight oats are one of the easiest things to prep the night before and refrigerate first we're going to put all the ingredients into the mason jar starting with the banana just cut it up mash it and then add the other ingredients i will have the recipe in the link below to my blog next we will add the coconut milk unsweetened coconut milk stevia vanilla essence some cinnamon powder and our non-fat greek yogurt and then finally we're going to add our oatmeal Okay, mix it all up. Then just pop the lid on and refrigerate and it's ready to go the next day. Next, we're gonna be making a protein shake. This is an easy go-to, especially when you don't have time. First, I'm gonna show you the quick prep. This you can have on hand, which makes it easier to just add the remaining ingredients when ready. We're adding a quarter cup of oatmeal, a scoop of protein powder, just close the lids. This is always something you should have on hand just to grab and mix. Next, I am going to portion out this organic spinach into bags so that it's easy to just put into the blender when ready. I use the Nutribullet. And of course, always have your banana available. So now I'm gonna make the actual shake so that you can see. I'm using the neutral bullet. Love it. I'm going to assemble all the ingredients. I'm going to start off with the oatmeal, 2% lactose free milk. Then we're going to add half a banana. And again, I will have the link below to the recipes. Half a cup of water, handful of spinach, some vanilla essence a scoop of protein powder and a cup of ice. We're going to mix everything together using the Nutribullet or if you have a blender that will work too. Okay and finally pour it into your blender bottle or shaker and you're ready to head out the door. Next we're going to be making the egg and turkey sausage muffin. First measure half a cup of egg whites then pour egg whites into mixing bowl, add one whole egg, salt and black pepper to taste, whisk it, have your turkey sausage ready with your spray and we're about to begin. We're going to heat the frying pan on medium heat. This is a great sandwich that you can make enough for five days and freeze so you can have all week, if you don't mind eating the same thing for the entire week. Spray the frying pan or skillet with some olive oil. And now we are going to add our turkey sausage. 
heat thoroughly on both sides roughly about six minutes and of course turn halfway when cooking okay remove from frying pan when all done now onto the eggs pour the egg mixture into the frying pan we're gonna cook thoroughly on one side then we're gonna flip the egg and cook on the other side remove from frying pan set on plate now it's time to assemble okay now to assemble the sandwich we're gonna take our English muffin open it up we're gonna spray it with I can't believe it's not butter which is zero calories we're gonna cut our egg in two put half of it then the turkey sausage the other half and the top on mmm look how yummy that looks if you're gonna eat it the next day you put it in a container if you want to freeze it for later in the week you pay some plastic wrap around it put it in a freezer bag and in the freezer Okay, on to the omelette. Now, this is my favorite breakfast that I have been stuck on for the last few months. Heat your skillet on medium heat. In my case, my egg omelette pan. Add half a cup of egg whites, one whole egg, salt and black pepper to taste. Whisk it. Spray the skillet slash egg omelette pan with olive oil spray and pour egg mixture evenly on both sides add spinach on one side then the turkey pepperoni i use eight slices then some onions at this point you can add tomatoes if you have tomatoes and then i let it cook for a little bit and then add my pepper jack cheese half a slice I sometimes switch up the cheese and use low fat mozzarella cheese so on my blog post you would see that I have mozzarella cheese now place into container okay so now I'm going to show you what my breakfast looks like on most days and you can prep this for five days by taking out five containers right now I'm going to just show you one so have a bowl and measure out half a cup of oatmeal or depending on what your goals are maybe a quarter cup of oatmeal add a piece of cinnamon stick makes it nice and yummy also a quarter cup of blueberries and I will take that with my omelette to work mmm so yummy and lastly we're gonna be making banana and blueberry oatmeal protein pancakes this is the best tasting pancakes I've ever made. You can go to the recipe page on my blog to get the recipe. I will put the link below. Add to your blender oats, bacon powder, vanilla essence, and your protein powder. I have I used two different types of protein powder. This time I'm using the Synthesis Edge, which has a stronger vanilla taste. It's a little bit sweeter, so I like to use it. In bacon recipes next add a ripe banana eggs and then finally we're gonna mix it all up so we'll blend it until it's well mixed next I go in and I just make sure that I got everything from the sides and continue to blend next I pour everything into a mixing bowl and now let's make some pancakes so this recipe I actually found on YouTube by domestic geek and again it is the best taste in protein pancakes I've ever made so heat up your skillet in this case I'm using my electric skillet spray with olive oil and Place liquid pancake mix on skillet. We're going to cook one side first. I like to add blueberries to mine. So I've added some fresh blueberries. And then I'm going to let it cook before 
flipping it to the other side. Normally just for about two minutes before flipping. When they're all done, remove and repeat until all the batter is done. I usually do some of them without the blueberries because my kids prefer them without the blueberries. And here we go, the finished product. Yum. All right, so thank you for joining me. I hope you had as much fun as I did. As you can see, those are easy breakfast recipes that you can prepare most of it on the weekend and then it's just one or two little things that you have to do so you can just grab and go in the morning when you're ready to go to work or to school actually some of those recipes if you're not picky like i'm not like i can eat the same breakfast every morning then you can prepare five of them like the overnight oats you can prepare five jars and you can have a jar ready for each day also, even with the muffins, you can make five sandwiches, freeze three of them, and then you can just take it out the night before you're ready for it and throw it out the day of. So very, very, very easy, very healthy. And again, thank you for joining me. So remember to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can get notifications on future videos. You can follow me on Instagram Fitness of a Comma, one word, on my Facebook page, Lenora Terrell. Also, I have a podcast, so you can listen to me on any platform, even Alexa. And lastly, you can visit my blog at fitnessofacomma.com. Until next time, bye for now.